Today was one of the special days in my life. Hey, Mom, do I look okay? I'm not used to wearing suits. You're okay? And Miyu chan said you can just wear your usual clothes. You say that, but you're also wearing fancier clothes than usual. Oh? I always dress like this. You can't fool me, Mom. My name's Sogo Kiryu. There's a reason my mother and I are dressed up. Today, my little sister, Miyuki, was bringing her fiancé to meet us. You're gonna say, I don't give you my blessing or something, huh, Sokun? Uh, I won't! My father passed away in an accident when I was younger. Still, I had no intentions to play his part. My mother and I were waiting expectantly when we heard the front door open. I headed over to greet them. Hello, I'm here to announce our engagement. I know him from work. So he's capable. That's great! He had greeted us politely. His name was Rem Fuda. My sister introduced him to us, and my mother invited them inside. Miyuki, he's a lovely guy. Yeah. Oh, should I leave? <laughs> Either way is fine. As you can see, my sister's not interested in me. Actually, she doesn't like me. But then, she enjoyed being around me. But one day, she completely shut me out. Since that's the case, I really can't play the father role like my mother had mentioned. Still, Miyuki was important to me. She gave me a choice, so I decided to stay. I'm curious about her partner anyway. While my mother and Fura-kun talked, I silently listened to their conversation. Occasionally, he would look at me like he was sizing me up. That was strange, but the day ended without any bumps. A few days later, after work, I ran into Fura-kun and Miyuki. Oh hey, you guys are together! What? Onisen? Mom asked if he'd like to eat dinner with us. Oh, please make yourself at home. I was sweaty and gross from work, so I tried to go inside first. Um, Onisen? Furakun stopped me, and I smiled. What's up, Furakun? You're blue collar, right? An uneducated older brother? That's kinda sad. I couldn't hide my surprise at his sudden change from the other day. Huh? Before I could say anything, Miyuki raised her voice. What does that mean? It means just that. I got a job at an elite company, but your brother only graduated junior high, right? The other day, he was wearing a suit, so I couldn't tell. But if he's just a blue-collar worker, it makes sense. Go home. What? Sorry, but leave. I don't want to talk. Huh? What are you- Don't talk to me! Onichan is... Never mind. She squeezed those words out and headed inside before me. Wait, wait, Miyuki? She didn't listen and hurried inside the house. Huh, what's with her? I just said what's obvious. Hey, Fudakun, it's true that I'm a blue collar, but don't feel bad for Miyuki because of that. Don't make Miyuki cry. I don't care how much you make fun of me. I didn't even listen for a response and ran after Miyuki. Fudakun didn't come chasing after Miyuki. I headed to the living room, but Miyuki wasn't there. Mom, I'm home. Where's Miyuki? So, Kun, welcome back. Miyu chan just went to her room without eating dinner. Fura kun was supposed to come, but I wonder if something happened. I smiled at my mother, who was unaware of the situation. I'll go have a look. Miyuki, are you awake? I want to talk. No response. Of course, because of me, her, and Fura kun I was about to give up when the door opened with a small click. Whoa! A shark appeared! Mi Miyuki? Why a shark? I'm always a shark when I'm in my room. I didn't know that. Nowadays, there are blankets that you can wear, and Miyuki loves them. I thought she would send me away, but she said I could come in. The shark then dove into the sea of blankets with a splash. She really looks like a stuffed shark. Miyuki, are you not gonna eat? No. I apologized to mom earlier. Told her I'll eat tomorrow. Okay. Huh? Th that There was a small familiar stuffed shark on the corner of the bed. I'm pretty sure Dad and I had given it to Miyuki as a present. How many years ago was that? Miyuki, you still have that shark doll. Yeah. I like... sharks. She was very convincing in her current outfit, and I couldn't help but laugh. Thank you. I'm glad. I pat Miyuki's head area from on top of the blanket. Sorry, 
that you got into a fight with Rurakun because of me. You did nothing wrong. But I was the cause. Sorry. I hope you guys can make up. After saying that, I left Miyuki's room. A few hours later, I had fallen asleep already. Oh, Miyu-chan? You're awake? Want some food? Yeah, thank you. Huh? Why are there two plates of karage? Oh, that? Sokun said he wants to give you his because you like them. When was that? She squeezed her fists and held back tears. I was happy that I got to talk to Miyuki a little bit. We don't usually talk to each other. In this moment, I was having a dream about Miyuki when she was younger. Sixth grade. I was the leader of our school walking group. I was leading the lower grade students to school. Mi miyuki chan Huh? What? I heard some commotion behind me and turned around. Mi miyuki Miyuki, a fourth grader at the time, was collapsed on the side of the road. Onichan! I spoke to her, but her breathing was rapid and there was no response. I desperately spoke to her. Miyuki! Hey, Miyuki! You're okay! Onichan's here with you! My voice was shaking with fear. This was a first, and the tears welled up in my eyes. I had to help Miyuki. I ran into a nearby house and called for help. Excuse me, my sister! May I please use your phone? When I called home, my mother answered, and I told her about Miyuki in a panic. She came as quickly as she could, and the ambulance came soon after. Miyuki and my mother headed to the hospital in the ambulance. What a dream. I suddenly awoke from my dream and my head was fuzzy. I thought I had to protect Miyuki, but now she's getting married. If my father were still alive, how would he look? What would he have said? It's lonely, Dad. I whispered to my father and fell asleep again. A few days later, I was working. Sogo, do you need any help? Thank you, sir. But I'm done after this, so I'm okay. You're already finished? You're amazing! Even your work ethic is just like his! <laughs> That's the best compliment you could give me! His, meaning my father's. That's right, my father used to work here too. My father passed away when I was in my third year of junior high school. My father passed away, and my frail mother worked desperately. I had never seen her look like she was having a hard time, but I knew I wanted to support this family as soon as I could. That was when my current boss came to put incense on my father's altar. Sir, I want to do the same job as my dad. Before I knew it, I was opening up to him. He cried and said he would help me out. I'm able to work here like this thanks to you. I finished my tasks, and I was talking with my boss when I saw someone familiar. What? Oh, Onisan? Why are you here? Huh? Furukun? You scared me. Why are you here? I'm here for my job. Furukun worked at a medical device manufacturer. Miyuki works at the same company. On the other hand, I worked in a factory that produces glass fibers and other special glass parts. The glass is used in medical devices, so it wasn't strange that he was here for his job. Whoa, so you're really a factory worker. Your sister's so high class. Aren't you embarrassed? No, I'm not, but... Sorry to keep you waiting, Furakun. The factory chief came in. She usually didn't come into the actual workplace. Oh, ma'am, thank you for making time. He shifted his attitude completely and put on his sales smile. For some reason, the factory chief smiled at me. Hey, Kiryu-kun, how's work? The atmosphere here is always good thanks to you. I appreciate you. You might be surpassing your dad soon. No way. My father's legacy is too large for me to ever surpass. <laughs> I'm sure he's happy he has a son like you. I'm truly happy you came to us. She was really showering me with compliments. I was a little embarrassed, but genuinely happy. And are you the one that looks down on our precious employee? What? Oh, uh, I... It's a misunderstanding. There's no misunderstanding. I just heard it with my own ears. M ma'am actually, Kiryu-san is gonna be my brother-in-law. That doesn't matter at all. I don't think I can build a trusting relationship with someone like you. That's what I'm saying. Wait, 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 ma'am! Hurakun chased after the factory chief. He was paying for making fun of me. Oh my, he fudged it. The factory chief loves her employees more than anyone. She especially cares for you, Sogo. 
the relationship that was built when my father worked here. That trust was passed down to me. A warm feeling was spreading in my heart. After that, the factory chief came back. The deal is off. She was laughing heartily. Miyuki was working at the same company, so I was worried about her. But this time, it was Furukun's fault. I guess there was nothing to be done. I hope Miyuki and Furukun are doing okay. Even I was starting to doubt Furukun's intentions after today. Can I really trust him with Miyuki? I started to doubt him. Should I root for him since Miyuki chose him? But if it were Dad, what would Dad think? I had fought for my family up until now, but I still didn't feel confident. But after that, something was waiting for me that would shatter all my reservations. Phew, I'm more tired than usual today. With the Furukun ordeal, I was more on edge today. When I get home, I'm gonna take a long bath and talk to mom about dad. I was walking by the park in thought when I saw it. It is that... Mi Miyuki, what are you doing here? Oh, Oni-chan. Miyuki looked unwell. I had seen her like this before, and I knew she had just had a seizure. Are you alone? It's okay, Oni-chan's here, okay? How nostalgic. What? Back then, you were always by my side to protect me, no matter how many times it happened. Even though it was a usual thing, every time you really worried about me and stayed by my side, I realized that I took it for granted. Miyuki? Did you see Furakun? He said he was going to go see you. Huh? No, I haven't seen him. Were you guys together? Miyuki smiled slightly, sadly. I knew that that meant yes, from all our years together. Oni-chan, I'm sorry. You gave up on your dreams because of me. What? That's not true. What do you mean? Miyuki started talking about the past. Dad, when I grow up, I want to be a superhero. Dad laughed when he heard that. A police officer? Firefighter? He started listing different superheroes. Yeah, so, I... A young me telling dad about my dreams. Miyuki had remembered that, although vaguely. I had a dream, but I gave it up for her. That's what Miyuki had been thinking. A few years later, Miyuki was a first year junior high student. Miyuki had the worst seizure she had ever had and became unconscious. My mother and I rushed to the hospital and stayed by Miyuki's side. My father received the news at work and rushed to the hospital. He got in an accident on the way, and he lost his life. After that, Miyuki got better quickly, but our father was gone. Dad passing away. You giving up your dream to protect our family. It's... it's all my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, Miyuki has been blaming herself this whole time. I finally understood. That's why she shut me out, and I thought that she hated me. Miyuki... Oh, Onisen, you were here. I was looking for you. Furakun, what's wrong? Miyuki was having a seizure, so he left to get me. Was not what had happened. Actually, I have a favor to ask. Can you talk to the factory chief about the deal? Huh? I'll apologize for making fun of you. Please, Onisen. You left Miyuki to suffer and looked for me for that? What? Oh, be because this always happens. So, and the deal. Yeah, this does always happen. Miyuki always deals with this fear and pain. What happens if Miyuki's seizure keeps going? How can you say that she'll always be okay? Why didn't you stay by her side? You always think about yourself. Miyuki is more important to me than your sales record. Da dads. Oh, Mom, I'm saying it. Dad, too. I won't let you marry Miyuki. I can't trust you with her. Go home. Dad. Onisen, wait! Uh, oh yeah, the deal! At least the deal! Even at a time like this, all he could think about was the deal. I glared at him. Furakun, I can't be with you anymore. My brother, he is strong, kind person that always protected our family. Someone who insults my brother and my family. I can't be with that person. Mi Miyuki! Miyuki said it plainly and clearly. Let's go, she said to me, and started walking. In this way, we parted ways with Rem Fura. On the way home, we walked side by side for the first time in a while. 
Oni-chan, thank you. I didn't do anything. I'm sorry I posed your marriage. Uh, actually, if you hadn't done so, I would have been a little sad. <laughs> Miyuki laughed softly. It had been a long time since she laughed for me, and it made me happy. Hey, Miyuki, about earlier, you're forgetting something important. A young me telling my dad about my dreams. I clearly remembered what I had said after. Yeah, so I want to be a superhero like you. A strong man that can protect his family. I want to be cool and hardworking like you. I'll never forget my father's tearful face. Have I gotten even a step closer to who my dad was? So, I'm happy I get to do the same job as my dad. I don't care if people look down on me. It's a great job. So, it's not your fault. It's thanks to you that I became stronger. Oni-chan! I felt the knots that had formed between us slowly untangle themselves. And Dad always said that you're his treasure. Of course, Mom and me too. Dad and I will protect you and Mom. We made a promise to each other. Dad loves you, so don't blame yourself. Dad would never have wanted that. Because his daughter was so precious, he couldn't see around him and got in an accident. I'm sure there were regrets and lingering feelings. Dad, look over Miyuki. Look over her family. The sun had set, and in the sky, the first star of the night was twinkling. Dad was looking over us and smiling. Today, that's what I saw. For the first time in years, Miyuki and I were smiling together on our way home. A few months later, the morning of a day off. Oni-chan, good morning. Want some coffee? Yeah, thanks Miyuki. Miyuki and I were back to siblings that liked each other. <laughs> I'm sure Dad is happy that you guys are close again. Hmm? Who is it? I'll get it. Yes? Wait, Shunkun? Ah, uh, Shark! Uh, I forgot I was wearing this. Miyuki, that blanket. Wait, aren't you Miyuki's childhood friend? Miyuki's childhood friend, Shunkun, was at the door and weak in his knees with shock. What's wrong, Shunkun? Um, next weekend. Do you want to go somewhere with me? Huh? Are you asking me out? No, 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 no. I, I just, I'm curious. Huh? About sharks? No! <laughs> Shunkun, you have to be honest with Miyuki or she won't get it. Apparently, he had always had feelings for Miyuki. He finally mustered the courage to do this. Rem Fura had lingering feelings for Miyuki and would reach out to her. But the news had spread that he angered the factory chief and he was demoted. This time around, I want my precious Miyuki to be happy. That way, my father will be out there smiling. That's what I believed.